What is that? Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. I saw hell is what's happening. Oh my god! <laughs> What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are already back at it to talk about some new Gymshark. There's a little smorgasbord, smorgasbord. We have a little wine tasting, a little sampler platter going on today. A little bit from a bunch of different collections. This time around, when it comes to these new Gymshark releases, we have some major hits and major misses. So pay close attention. I just published the Gymshark Legacy video, so if you haven't checked that out, watch this video and then go check out that video. Either way, the pieces in both of these videos are dropping on August 31st. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new Gymshark videos. We review almost everything here at Gymshark on this channel and have been for years. Gymshark is kind enough to send these pieces out to me in just enough time for me to be able to review them before the launch. And as always, in case you are new to this channel, I do have a support code Ashley G that gives you 10% off of all your Gymshark orders. So feel free to use that, it saves you money and it also goes directly towards helping out this channel, supporting these videos, keeping Gymshark and I's relationship nice and strong so that we can continue doing what we do here. Now without further ado, I don't even know where to start. First and foremost, I am wearing a brand new Elevate Fleece Midi. Okay. They are launching two different fleece colors. This is washed mauve and black. But the washed mauve, it sounds familiar, doesn't it? Didn't we just talk washed mauve? Gymshark's been having very similar color names, but different. So I'm automatically thinking we have a match when we don't. This is the Walnut Mauve Legacy Legging, just so you can see a color comparison. So this is washed mauve, very, very light, almost lavendery gray color. So this is a full on fleece fleece inside and on the outside. When zipped up completely, you have a high neck collar. You do have two side pockets that do not zip. I really don't think that they're meant to hold anything in them except to warm your hands. They were angled in such a way where if you were to put something in there, it will 100% fall out. Don't put anything in it especially if it can break like your phone. There's no internal pockets, just the two on the outside that you see. You do have a shark face embroidered tonal logo. Very luxurious. I do love that tonal logo. This baby is so cozy and warm. It's a little bit boxy and oversized. My true size small is great. I do think if you wanted to, you could size down if you don't prefer such an oversized fit. Do keep in mind though, it's not like it's totally stretchy. So there's a limited amount of stretch. Don't go too sized is down. One at best. At best. If you look at the shape, this does have a slight high to low, a little more back coverage. They added not one, but two side toggles to this piece. I have to admit, I just didn't feel like it did enough to really warrant having those toggles, at least for me. I didn't feel like they did a whole lot. I could have done without, but I guess it doesn't hurt that they're there. They're not in the way. This is a very super cozy, yet extremely lightweight piece. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels extremely light. Medium density too. It's not over the top fluffy, but it's not thin either. It feels pretty quality to me. If you guys haven't noticed by now, the Elevate collection is really an athleisure lifestyle collection. Gymshark nailed it with having comfortable fits that are stylish. Now they're adding a little more to this entire range, giving it more spunk, giving it more character. Yes, it's slowly turning into more of a clothing based range. And I I'm here for that. I've been saying that from day one actually with the Elevate. I'm seeing mostly just athleisure with it, especially because of that T-seam on the back. Did they get rid of that T-seam? Let's find out. Here we go, the leggings and... Still got that T-seam, no problem. Now this is in the color Rust Red. If you guys remember a few launches ago, they launched that rose brown color. Super similar to this actually, except this rust red is much more deep, a little more saturated, just a darker shade overall. I think this is a nice shade for a late summer, early fall. If you're unfamiliar though, I mean, this collection's super stretchy. You also have a very silky, slippery feel. In terms of what it's most relatable to, in case you're somebody who's never tried Elevate leggings, picture the legacy leggings, but way more slippery feeling. With that being said, there's a little wrinkling, but not anything too crazy. The one and only takeaway, the 
one downfall in my opinion to this legging, which might not be a downfall to a lot of people, but to me, I would like to see a little arched seam on the back. A little upper glute seam that just highlights the glutes a little bit. Don't really love the T-seam that much. These are really great athleisure leggings, great for all day wear, super comfortable, very pet friendly material. So if you have pets, it's not gonna attract dog hair. It'll come off right away. And they're pretty squat proof too. So whether you're using it for low key exercises or you wanna wear it out and about, you can do either or. Now something very interesting they added to the collection was a brand new Elevate sports bra. Introducing their twist bralette. This bra reminded me so much of that twist front bralette from Buff Bunny in the Naked collection, remember that? It even fits super similarly in terms of being extremely low support and on the brim of showing my nipple. Just on the brim, not, not, not quite, but I had to double check a few times. What's really great about this one is the fact that you do have adjustable straps. That's a plus, always is in my opinion. Still has that silky to the touch feel. I think it's very pretty, I think it's very well done, but not something that I could ever really work out in, straight up. I think wearing a loose tank over top, sure. Or even wearing something cute and sexy like this with like a long maxi skirt at best if I'm on vacation or something. I'm not really looking to work out in this because I really couldn't. I think if you have smaller busts, you might really favor this and be able to totally work out in this. Also keep in mind there's no bra pads and there's no option to insert. It is double lined, so it's not overly thin. Now it's getting hot in here. What's that you say, girl? What? What is that? What is that sports bra you're wearing? This is the new retro sports bra. Elevate came out with some really cute pieces, but now you're about to see some crazy wild in your face pieces. Buckle up, baby. When I made my selections for the retro, right? I picked the sports bra because I was obsessed right away. I was like, that is so dope and I need it. But then I went to, you know, grab the corresponding leggings with it. And then these showed up at my doorstep. <laughs> How do you go from dope AF to whatever this is? The new retro leggings and sports bra, there's so much to say here. First and foremost, when I receive them, they are literally spitting images of the new contrast collection that I just reviewed last month. Same types of fabric, even the same, I mean, blocky contour, the same elastic band up top, and the rest is a little plasticky feeling, like a Halloween costume. It's the same jive. So unlike the contrast leggings where they had little straps above the hips, this is different. You don't have any straps. You just have one thick elastic band. This is in the color black and camo brown. Very dark, dusty brown color. Everywhere you see this block contour is accompanied by a tonal seam. It's not very uncomfortable, don't get it twisted. There's a ton of stretch in this legging. But can we just take a second, just a brief moment in time, to check out that scrunch bum? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It looks like a baboon's ass. All right, that's what I'm seeing here. It just, yeah, there's a little pucker happening here, a little, little wrinkly pucker downtown. So what is it? I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just a, a stitched on scrunch that for me on my body does Nothing, nothing at all. It doesn't sit in between the cheeks, doesn't move with you, it just sits and stares at you. <laughs> I don't care what size glutes you have, I really don't think anybody's using this scrunch to their advantage. That's just how I feel. The design itself, this scrunch, just was a big no-no. From the front, when I first put it on, I was like, this is kinda cool, the front. It reminds me of going scuba diving, not that I've ever done that. And I probably never would, because I don't really like pressure. Felt like the front had some potential in that department. I mean, Gymshark, we've seen some crazy designs before. So the front wasn't anything too unusual. You do have a very subtle, but yet still there, front seam, but it was the back that did it for me. You do have the GS written right underneath that small elastic band, right above the glute contour. So it's GS, it's printed out, very collegiate looking. Then you have a heavy contrast shark face logo on the left hip. Overall, very light compression, again. Even the waistband here, this stretch is almost low to moderate. Very squat proof, I'll give it that. Like it was nearly 100% squat proof, go figure. Needless to say, I was very confused by this legging. So yeah, that was that with the leggings. I'm just gonna put these aside here. What happened over here? I don't know. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't um, think it's peanut butter. So I oh, think it's definitely, you can see the 
Is oil that... starting to spread underneath. You think so? Oh my goodness. Well, look how you're eating the peanut butter. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, it's dripping. It's like a runny nose. No, she didn't, bro. Grab the stain stick. One hour later. The sports bra is where it's at, though. I think I could have a lot of fun with this one. This is perfectly true to size. I think if you're in between, you could get away with sizing down. I feel like there's a little, little bit of extra room around here. Beautiful scoop neck. Uh, this golden beige color shimmers so pretty. I feel like this looks like, again, like I said about the contrast bra in the last video, I feel like very varsity with this. Like I could be a cheerleader, put on a skirt. Let me knock out a few of these. I think the contrast of the seam placement is really nice. Pretty burgundy, like brown color. So the gold and the burgundy, super full-esque. I think the printed Gymshark logo is pretty badass too. And the back is not adjustable, but super pretty. You know, very simple, goes right down the spine, very elegant looking. Overall, I think they did a really great job with this sports bra. There's really no padding. There's no option to insert. I think it's thick enough to wear. I think it's durable enough where you can wear it without worry. And plus you have the text for distractions, if you know what I mean. So even if it's a cold one, I think that you'll be okay. Decent moderate support, and you do have a really, really thick, chunky elastic band at the underbust. All right, not a ton of stretch, but enough support where I think you'll be okay. From my experience, the contrast range was super affordable. I'm assuming this one will be too. Those leggings better not be anything more than 25 bucks. I'm just saying. Let's talk some new sweat. I had to grab the score. Out of all of the sweat collections pieces, I favor the score the most, believe it or not. I said in my last video how I'm a little iffy with the material of the sweat collection. Sometimes it wrinkles in certain places. It's not my favorite necessarily, but when it comes to their score, I think they did an excellent job on it. This is in the color Plum Pink. Is that Plum Pink? Yeah, it's Plum Pink. So in the last video, we had colors such as Raspberry Pink and Plum Brown. Now we have Plum Pink. They're just trying to confuse everybody up in here. I actually grabbed the entire set, the skirt, the bra, and that very lightweight long sleeve crop. I had planned to wear it up in Salem because of this color. It is a beautiful burgundy with a hint of purple in it. It's such a rich, deep color that I was like, you know what? Some dark lips, wear it up in Salem with my witch hat. I'm gonna be good to go here. So I had to grab the whole set. After putting this on, I really have come to terms with the fact that I think I'm gonna size up next time in the sweat score for a few reasons. The waistband's super compressive on me. It's three tiered. It's just like the sweat leggings and shorts. They took that band and placed it on this score. Therefore, there's compression in it. I would like a little less compression, especially because I don't plan on working out in this. I do plan on actually being active outdoors and being casual and walking around Halloween town, things like that. The built-in shorts are a little too snug too, so I could use a little let up there. The overlay is really nice, lightweight. You have the little eyelet designs peeking through, so that's nice. I think the lay itself is just so beautiful. So if I sized up, I think I would have been a little more comfortable in this skirt. The matching bra. Now, the bra, it's very adjustable, crisscross back. I think it's an okay sports bra. You do have a pretty decent amount of coverage in the front if you're looking for more coverage. This might suit you well. Nice moderate support. You have removable bra pads. I feel like this is fitting me better than last time. It's gonna sound crazy, but last time I grabbed my true size small, felt like I needed to size down. There was a green color especially. I was kind of swimming in it. Now I grab my true size small, and I'm fitting much better in it. And of course, like I said before, I had to throw on the long sleeve because I do plan on wearing this as an adorable set. I really like this crop top because you can toggle your way up with this draw cord and make it a crop top, or you can completely loosen it, and then it pretty much covers you completely. So I like the versatility in this top, and it is a spitting image of how the Breeze Lightweight used to be. Do you remember those Breeze Lightweight tops with the little eyelets? This is extremely lightweight, just like how they used to be. So if I'm comparing this to anything that they previously come out with, it's gonna be the Breeze Lightweight. There's no thumb holes, but it's okay. Sleeves are super duper long on me. Nothing new there. And this material is super duper stretchy and lightweight. So if you're in between, you could totally size down. If you're thinking about sizing down altogether, you could if you wanted to. If you want more body fit, you could get away with it. I just think it's such a comfortable piece to throw on over. It's not gonna keep you totally warm. It's still gonna keep you 
nice and breathable on a semi-hot day. Am I saving one of the best for last? I just might be. I love these lifting oversized t-shirts. Are you kidding? We have washed stone brown, white, and black. The washed stone brown color is in my true size small. I went with a small because it said it was oversized, so I assumed it would be big enough to be a pump cover, and it was not. So I'm really glad that the black and white I got in a large. To be honest, these were supposed to be bays. If you're looking to wear these t-shirts as a pump cover, yeah, I definitely suggest sizing up, especially with the trend it being super oversized. Do it, just grab a few sizes up and you won't regret it. Especially if you're looking to actually cover the dump. My small was fine if I just wanted to wear a basic t-shirt out and about, which I did. It gives such a almost retro feel. Even this whole print, I mean, it's looking like freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger over here. Lifting some seriously hard weight. It says Gymshark Lifting Apparel Established 2012. It is a full on print. I actually really like this color because not only is it a very light beige, but the text isn't a stark black, it's a dark gray. So there's a little fade to it, which gives it that retro feel. And this black t-shirt, it's not quite a stark white logo. It's almost there, but not quite. These are your basic cotton t-shirts, 100% cotton. I do include this in my active wear wash, so it's on cool, so it doesn't shrink. It's the hot heat, the hot water, and the hot dryer. That's what's gonna shrink this cotton. Alrighty, you guys, it is that time. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on these new releases? Again, everything you see in today's video is gonna be releasing August 31st, along with the new Legacy as well. I can see Gymshark slowly starting to incorporate their fall colors, their fall pieces, like the fleece midi jacket. This gets me super excited for fall, I'm not gonna lie. Pumpkin spice all day. I'm about to literally decorate for Halloween as soon as I'm done filming here. And what is it? It's August 25th. I appreciate you guys being here and spending some quality time with me. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in my next video.